Hello everyone, Angela here with Turo Family Chiropractic and your weekly PSA or piece of salutogenic advice on this absolutely gorgeous Wednesday morning. Hope you guys have plans to get out and enjoy the sunshine this week. We are having an absolutely uh, wonderful week here in Pittsburgh. So continuing to talk about this month um, hydration, we are celebrating our you know, drink water month. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about this week was, are you one of those people that comments and is like, oh, it's so hard to drink enough water throughout the day? Um, you know, you hear different things and there are different recommendations as far as how much you should drink, but you know, eight to 10 glasses a day is, is kind of, you know, the average of what you hear. Um, I would say that's pretty much, that's the minimum you want to go for. If you are someone who's exercising a lot or out in the warm weather and sweating a lot, you're, you're going to want a lot more than that. Um, but again, if you're getting that eight to 10 glasses a day, that's kind of the minimum to shoot for. And people hear that and they're like, oh my gosh, that it's just so hard to, to drink that much water. But if you're one of those people that say that, well, think about this. How many cups of coffee are you having a day? Or cups of tea? Um, are you drinking soda, juice, any alcoholic beverages? Um, all of these other things that we drink throughout the day seem to add up very easily. So if you think about, one, replacing some of those things with water or using those other things as a guide and a reminder that you need to still be drinking um, and making sure that you're hydrating with water as well. Now, certain things, you know, if you're doing an unsweetened tea, um, especially if it's like an herbal tea, that can count as your water because there's not, um, you know, the other things in it that are going to be kind of negatively impacting your health. Uh, but those other those other things, yes, they're fluid. They might be providing your body with some fluid, but overall they're not going to be hydrating you in the same way that, that water will. So um, especially things that are high in caffeine, high in sugar, um, and have alcohol in them, all of those things are going to have uh, some negative impacts on the body, especially in large quantities. So you really wanna make sure that you're balancing that with proper hydration and you're balancing that with water. Um, so first thing in the morning, you wanna be drinking a glass of water. So before you grab that cup of coffee, you can get the coffee brewing, but drink a glass of water before you have that first cup of coffee or tea or whatever your, your caffeine of choice is. Just helps get the body rehydrated. You haven't had any water all night, so you wanna make sure that you're rehydrating, you're starting the day out right before you jump right into the caffeine. Uh, because the problem is when we start drinking a lot of caffeine, it acts like a diuretic. So it's gonna make you uh, have to go to the bathroom more, which might make you think that you're hydrated, but really it's just kind of flushing the fluids out faster. Um, so actually it can start to have a dehydration effect on you. So if you're drinking that coffee and then, you know, already you feel like, you know, you have to, you have to urinate, then you can kind of, you might think that you're hydrated, but really it's just the coffee making you feel that way. So start out with that water, get yourself rehydrated after a, a night of not having anything to drink. Um, and then you can have your coffee, your tea or whatever your drink of choice is in the morning. Um, and then you really want to think about, you know, in between caffeinated beverages or alcoholic beverages, you really want to make sure that you're getting some water. So if you're one of those people that drinks a lot of coffee throughout the day, make sure you're drinking water in between it. Um, and if you know you're, you're out and you're having a few drinks or, you know, we're heading into the summer months here. So I know there's events and stuff during the day. If you're having some alcoholic beverages, make sure again that you're starting out hydrated. So lots of water before drinking water in between alcoholic drinks and then making sure that you're hydrating at the end of the evening as well uh, to really help prevent some of those dehydration effects that you're going to feel the next day. So yes, you can enjoy those other beverages, of course, uh, but primarily you want to make sure that water is your number one uh, drink of choice. You want to be drinking at least eight to 10 cups a day, and you really want to make sure you're doing more um, and doing them in between those other potentially dehydrating beverages if you were choosing to drink those. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, as always, any questions or comments, send them my way, and I will see you guys the same time next week. Get out and enjoy this absolutely beautiful sunshine. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.